Hello and welcome to a little zoo. So as you can see from the title, it is the December Oh So Inspired Collaboration who is hosted by Alicia who is Call Me Crafty Hal here on YouTube. All the information will be linked down in the description box as well as our inspirational piece which is a card and what they've done is they've used the hot glue sticks this is why it's in front of you to give an embossed look on the card so I got these hot glue sticks from the works as you can see I paid £2 and it was a pack of 12 they're really really big actually which I was quite surprised and came in quite handy so to start off with I attempted to play with the hot glue and came up with a couple of designs so these were, I tried to do some patterns but as you can see this was supposed to be a snowflake which has really not turned out. This was meant to be a star which yet again is just an absolute mess. Then I decided to try and do a sort of pattern but a random pattern not trying to copy anything or follow anything. So I started off doing swirls all the way out and then I did lines going up and down and across the way just to give it a pattern effect. I do quite like how this one's turned out. I don't know where I'd use it but I still like this one so I will be keeping a hold of this one to maybe use on a card base at some point. But I decided to go down a completely different route and I did names instead with the hot glue. So I did my sister's name, Nick, and her husband's name is Joe. So I tried that. Now, because my glue sticks were like clear, so the glue came out like a whitish clear, I decided that I was going to try and colour them in. So to start off with, I tried colouring in the men with these markers and that was the effect I got for Joe and then I decided I didn't like how that one was turning out so I got these metallic markers from Lidl last year and I'm pretty sure they had them in this year as well at some point but I got mine last year and they're still they're still good they still work absolutely fine and it came up absolutely beautiful so that was the first two attempts at writing names with the glue. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. Then I went and did Ruth's name, who is my oldest daughter, and my husband's name is Mike. Now, they're getting something special for Christmas that only needed a little envelope for. And I thought putting their names on the front would be perfect. So this is what I have done then. So I've made these little envelopes. Um, I don't know what paper pad I used. It was a Helen Griffin paper pad, a Christmas themed one that she had out last year. I bought it last year to do something but I never got a chance to do it. But these two pattern papers stood out to me and they worked perfectly with the gold and the red pens that I used. The metallic markers and that's the gold metallic marker that I used for Mike and I I do love how this has turned out I think this is just beautiful so this is my project share for the also inspired collaboration for the month of December I did names instead so my inspiration, I took the fact that she's used hot glue to do something with the hot glue and I've done something with the hot glue, I've tried to write out names. Now I know my names aren't perfect because I am horrendous with a hot glue gun. I don't even use a hot glue gun to make my paper anything using the paper clip embellishments. I don't use my hot glue anymore because I just get it everywhere. So that is my makes. I hope you like them. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Please go and check out everybody who's in the description box below. 
everybody will have taken something different for the inspirational piece. Everybody will have made something different for their inspiration from the inspirational piece. So go and check them out. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye for now.